Hey guys! So, today we're starting as we usually do from the day before. I have had a manic last week and the beginning of this week. It is currently Tuesday evening and last week my days was manic, which means that Wednesday... What even happened Wednesday? Oh my god, yeah, Wednesday we went is when I last vlogged and we went to Bister. And then Thursday, Friday. Thursday I was busy at work, I was working till late. Friday I literally worked till seven and then had to go to the uh, go to see a show at the Hippodrome, a live show, went to go see Million Dollar Quartet. And then Saturday night was a night out with my friend that we got very tired and very drunk. And then Sunday was my Christmas party and my hangover day. And Monday was yesterday, which I worked till nine. And then today I finished at quarter past five and I have been home cleaning my room because it's been so neglected because I've been so busy. Um, and now here I am starting the vlogs again. So here we go. This, I hopefully think, is going to be a really nice Christmassy vlog. I really, really hope so, because tomorrow I'm going to start doing my wrapping, and I'm just going to spend a day at home. I probably need to pop out to go get some more wrapping bits, maybe, but I'm not sure. So um, we might pop out a bit later, maybe to see my grandparents real quick, because they're not very well. Um, but right now, I'm just about to edit the vlog from Bister. I think it's going to be a good one, but I am, I've got such a long evening of editing and then I've got a whole video to edit and of course I'm making this video. So there's going to be a lot going on, but tomorrow I'm staying at home, like I said, I'm going to have a Christmassy day, Christmas movies, me and Milo, maybe going to, um, I don't know what else to do. I need to wrap, I need to wrap all my presents. Um, do you know what? I don't even know. I just want to have a really chill day tomorrow. Stay in my onesie, chill out, enjoy the Christmas decorations because it looks beautiful downstairs and I still feel like I haven't actually had a chance to enjoy them. Um, and yeah, that's about it really. I have to do a little tiny bit more work tonight but then that is it. Um, I'm just going to edit these two videos and then I'm going to watch the last episode of I'm a Celebrity but I was scrolling through Instagram. I'm like... I'm like quite a few days late. No, I'm two days late. Yeah, I'm two days late. And I'm scrolling through Instagram. I've done so well. And then all of a sudden I seen, uh, I seen a picture and now I know who wins. And it's the person who I wanted to win, but I wanted to watch it. To, I don't know. Boo. Anyway, I'm going to edit these videos and then I will see you guys later tonight. Uh, it's like 10 past 10 and I've only just finished the vlogs the vlog and the haul are exporting and I won't go to sleep until they're at least being uploaded I'll probably just leave the computer on to sort itself out but now it's time for me to retreat to my happy place but first of all, I think I might light my candle because I got, you guys might remember this, in the year I got, I did obviously the video with Go Send where I got all the Bath and Body Works stuff and I saved this candle specifically for this year and I'm super excited to burn it. I forgot how amazing it smells. So it's this one here, the Fresh Balsam Candle and it's got like the snowflake lid. Mmm. Smells like Christmas tree. Mmm. Okay, I'm going to have to start burning this. So I just thought I'd show you guys. I'm putting it here because I like it there. Um, I really love my Bath & Body Works candles. Look, fresh, balsam, lush. Okay, cool. Oh my god, even just taking the lid off is like amazing. But let's light it. Oh my god, make my room smell like a fresh Christmas tree. Please. Oh yeah. Love it. Oh yes. Fresh balsam trees. Yay. Alright, so we need to put we need the TV, which is 
when you open this section. Also, I think before I put the TV on, um, oh, did I, oh, I showed you my last vlog, my Starbucks cup, look at this, how amazing, literally, so cool, um, so, today's quite exciting as well, because I'm opening up my skincare, I haven't actually opened this yet, because, again, not had, not really got round to it, kind of forgot I had it, not a good thing, I'm gonna rearrange my little table as well, because I want to put my skincare out, because I've got, like, my expensive, like, serum and eye cream from Guerlain, and my Midnight Secret, like, all this stuff, and there's such pretty packaging as well, look at all this, so I kind of want to, like, keep it out, I think Milo's coming up, um, but, obviously, I bought this the other day, which is the Estee Lauder Travel Daywear and Nightwear Plus Creams with the Night, the night Detox, I've not tried the night detox before, but I've tried the day wear and I am obsessed with the day wear. I'm obsessed with the feel, the smell, the look. I seriously don't even know if it does anything for my skin, but I actually just love it. So I'm kind of excited about this. Like, I'm really chuffed now I bought it. It was £56.25, which to be honest, now looking at everything, that is like the most amazing deal. That's like just over the price of one. So. On my face. <laughs> Should I call a vlog get on my face? <laughs> no. Oh! Oh yeah, they're separate. Why, why was I surprised about that? I don't know. Okay, cool. See, that goes to show us they really are like full sizes. They're not trying to vlog you off. They're like actual products. Like, really? <laughs> I'm so tired. I can't wait for my day off tomorrow. So much fun. Not doing anything. Alright. I really want to like lip put these out together because I feel like they would look super cute just on this like on the side of my bed. Bed's ideal. I can smell the candle and it smells amazing. Okay, here's the day wear. Oh, I am a happy girl. Yay! Oh. I think my face is burning. No. I think I'm just I think I was a bit aggressive. I don't know. Alright, so that is my skincare routine so far for the evening. It's not official. It's just what's happening. This has been exactly 10 minutes. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. And I will see you all probably tomorrow now because boring stuff is happening. Ooh, one's exported already. Yay. Good morning, everybody. So I've woken up with a bit of a sore throat. Um, hopefully it doesn't really last. It just sounds really... you can tell. Anyway, um... Uh, so annoying. Obviously I was letting my videos monetize last night and upload on my on my channel. And this happens literally so often, which is why it's so hard. I'm putting up my, my vlog um, from Bister, but literally you don't... It's so funny, you don't realise it when you're filming. But when you're in the shops, they've usually got music on. Um, and it picks it up so easily. It's so unfair. Um, so the music's on in the background. I'm still talking to the camera. It's just like ambience. Like you can barely hear it. People are chatting everywhere. It's loud, but it's just this like beat in the background. Um, and basically, if you're not into YouTube, if that is that's considered copyright, I think that that really shouldn't be because I'm not featuring the song. I'm not making the video about the song because what happens is, is that it means I can't make any money off of the video. Every bit of money but the fact it's not like you guys don't see ads so it's not like oh well I'll just do that it's all the money that gets made on that video goes to the person who wrote not wrote but the person the company who owns this song and bear in mind this song is playing for literally about two minutes out of a 40 minute video and they get all of the of the revenue I don't see how that makes sense um so it's kind of annoying because now I've like uploaded the video, it's told me the time frame and what the song is and it's telling me that it will go to the copyright owner. So I've got to go back into my editing system, edit out, I think this was a really good bit as well, I've got to edit out that now so you guys can't really see it. Um, and then I've got to re-upload it and the process is just so tedious, it's so annoying. Usually what I try and do is when, this is actually a, a tip for my content creators out there as well, is what I'm doing when I'm editing the videos, if I'm unsure about the, um, the music in the background, I've got Shazam. Um, and you can basically just click, obviously, Shazam, and I find if it picks up the music, then I know it's clear enough that it's going to be called out, but none of the, the clips call out, so... 
<sighs> anyway, dramas, morning dramas. I know, right? Um, I'm going to so excited for today. I cannot wait to go downstairs and just have a cup of tea. I've put my other oh, radiator's not on, but I put this new top that I got um, from Victoria's Secret on the radiator because I was like, I want it to be nice and warm. Um, I think maybe I can go to my grandparents because now I'm sick anyway, so it doesn't matter. Um, cool, I'm going to need a cup of tea though because hopefully that'll clean it. A nice warm cup of tea. Alright, I'm going to start this out. I'm posting a whole video today. Um, and yeah, alright, I'll see you all later. Okay, I've edited it and I'm just exporting the video now. Let's go. Oh. I hit you, sorry. Um, let's go downstairs and see Little Mog. Oh, the mu there's music on as well. Ugh. Alexa, off. There we go. Hi, Fabi! Are we gonna have a nice day here together? Oh, Little Mog, look at that tail going at lightning speed. Oh, so cute. Oh, and I forgot today you guys can open my advent calendar with me. So, my advent calendar, just Milo always does it with me because he loves it. But, alright, so we've got the benefit one, which I've got all this little bits from, from so far. I mean, and that one as well. This is the Re Makeup Revolution. And this is the one I bought for Mum, the Yankee Candle one. So, she's been getting her little uh, little calendars each day. Not calendars, what are they called? I don't know. Alright, let's open up the benefit one. Um,. What day is it today? Yeah, you like doing this with me, don't you? It's the 7th. I'm so annoyed that this is only like 12 days. I wish it was 24. Especially for the price of what you get, to be honest. It was a bit of a cop out, I'm not gonna lie, but I still wanted it. Oh, and it rips so easily. <gasps> I got a little professional today. Does that interest you, Milo? Unless it's edible, it doesn't really much. Right, a little professional, um, and then, oh, this one's huge, and then we need to find a number six, seven even, in this one, there it is, up here is a circle, sorry Mog, oh, that's cute, it's a little bait, oh, it's so hard to get out. Got a little revolution baked blush in hard day. Mog? Really? Okay, so that's what I've been doing every day, getting a little present. I'm gonna have the revolution one all the way till Christmas. Oh no, I have a note left for me. That usually means I've gotta do something that I really don't wanna do. I told mum I've not had a day off in like, I don't know how long. Please, can I just do nothing? Please don't write me a note. Have a nice day. I will be home at 12.30ish. Milo needs to go out, and if you can, but not, I will take him later. If you do see Nan and Grandad, get her pasta pots in the boot bag by door. Oh, fair enough. I'll give her that. That's fine. All right. Tea. 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 We had the nicest tea yesterday, which my dad's actually taking to work. Great. My mum, um, when we lived in Malaysia, our maid, uh, Lourdes, she was, she was such a lovely person, I'm still friends with her on Facebook, but she used to make the best, I think it's a Filipino, because she's Filipino, so I was like, I think she made, I think it's Filipino, the dish, but I'm not sure, um, it might be Thai, I don't know, but she made the best, like, butternut squash, cut up into chunks, with garlic and ginger and coconut milk, and it is, like, amazing, and lucky enough, she taught my mum how to make it, so we had that last night, and it was amazing with, um, minced turkey and Thai basil and stuff like that so it was really really lush um but today yeah I'm gonna I really need a cup of day by throat is like this like you are happy little mug are we going to watch Christmas movies yeah sleepy how are you sleepy this is what I all brought down yesterday oh my god that's like my mum and dad have got all their ski stuff out that's a lot of socks, um, because they're obviously going to Canada in a few days. But this is all the stuff that I need to wrap so far. I think once I've wrapped it and I've labelled it up, I can see then where I need to, where else I need to check. Because to be honest, I don't think I'm completely done yet. 
Right, I'm gonna go and have my tea and have a shower and get changed for my cozy day in. So I'm chilling out downstairs now. I've just gone on Netflix and I've looked at all the different movies. To be honest, there isn't like a humongous selection this year, but I need to watch Home Alone this year because I've never properly watched that from start to finish. I've always seen bits of it. But I've decided while I'm starting to wrap and what I want to start with is Jingle All The Way. I've never seen this before either. I'm kind of really bad on the Christmas movies. I told my friend the other day I'd never even seen The Grinch. Like, where have I been? I know, right? I didn't understand how The Grinch and Christmas went together. Um, so I have so much to, like, watch. I'm definitely going to watch a few movies today. I'm quite chilly. I might go get my dressing gown so I can sit in my dressing gown. But then I'm going to start wrapping now. I'm so excited. i got to show you guys all the wrapping paper I got. Literally, there's so many amazing wrapping papers I got this year from Paper Chase was my choice. I literally went all out and got loads of Paper Chase wrapping paper. It was amazing. Alright, I'm going to start Jingle all the way and oh yeah, later on I've decided for lunch I'm going to treat myself to an eggnog latte and I'm going to go and get it. Um, I think I think there's one like near the train station so I've got to go to the train station. There's one in the train station but I think there's also one near it and I'll go to that one because parking should be okay. Um, and I can't wait, I'm going to get myself an eggnog latte, I love those, how much more festive can I feel? <sighs> Play Jingle all the way. It's only got two and a half stars on Netflix. 1996, that's when I was born! Yay, okay. I am going to go watch this, I'm in my new shirt that I got. I'm going to watch this now and I will see you all in a bit. Look, are we going to start wrapping? There's my teddy bear! So, should we show them what wrapping paper we got? So, they're all from Paper Chase, and this is the first one. I thought it was really pretty, so it's like black stags with gold little bits all through it. So, Milo, would you mind holding that one? Okay, there we go. And then I got this one, which is like pine cones with little sparkly bits, but I like that it was black. I thought that was different. And then I got just this one that's metallic that says Merry Christmas. And then I got this one which I thought was kind of nice for the kids as well. Maybe this one and the Christmas one for the kids. And it's just like all metallic with the Santa and the reindeer on it. And then I got this one specifically for my mum's presents because she loves penguins. So I got her the penguin paper. So I thought she would really like that. It's so cute. But the best of all, I had to get two rolls of this, I so didn't need two rolls, was the uh, this Sprout wrapping paper. Oh my god, I completely and utterly fell in love. How cute are these? Like, amazing. All right, let's move those so you can lay down. Oh good boy, it's my teddy bear. I couldn't be happier. I couldn't be happier. All right, and then, I just got two packs of bows yesterday from the card shop, just because I needed those bits. I know, it's so fluffy. I've got my little blanket on the floor as well. And then I got this wrapping paper and put the Yankee candles, a Yankee Bath and Body Works candles in for my nan and granddad. And then I got all these bags as well to put everything in it. And it was six for a pound. How amazing. So I can start wrapping, but I might need to run out later and get some like boxes to put stuff in because I don't know what I'm gonna need so yeah so I've just finished the first present and it's so cute with the wrapping paper look oh yes love so pretty
another person. We've done All right, it is now like 12, no, what time is it? One, sorry, one o'clock, and I started wrapping at like 10, so it's been like three hours, but look how beautiful under the tree looks, because it's all filled up all around the back, and then mum filled it up all around the back too. It's like this every year, because we put all of the presents for everybody under the tree, and then we just take it out when we go see them. But doesn't that look beautiful? That's what a tree should look like. Okay, I'm so happy. Mum's come home for lunch now. I've just given my nan and granddad a quick call just to see how they are, but they really don't want me to go up because they're not very well. They've already got sort of a reminiscence of a cough coming, so um, I really want to see them, but they they don't they don't want anybody up there because they're worried that they're gonna that we're gonna catch it. So I I'm not really sure what I want to do now. I need to go through my Christmas list and just re iterate what I need to get and stuff because I might just go upstairs and just do the online shopping for it because I already know there's some things I need to get um, and I know the people who I'm missing so I'm gonna probably do that I don't know I really want my eggnog latte I might just take a detour out and get an eggnog latte because um, I think that'll be really nice and warm and Christmassy but I'll wait for my mum to go first so I'll see her for a bit I, I'm kind of hungry, I just had a little snack, but I don't know, I don't really want anything, maybe I'll just get something at Starbucks, uh, if they got something Christmassy, and it's my day off, so my day off sometimes is my cheat day, every other day though is very, very strict, okay, so I've still got stuff to wrap, that's what I need to get, oh, that's what I need to get, I need to get boxes, or I need to get a box, and I've got to wrap my Nan's car like, card holder as well that I got her from Harrods, but I don't even know where I put it, Okay, I look so bad. All right, I'm gonna go now, and I'll see you all later. All right, so I brought Milo out. I've had to park in like a permit car park. I'm gonna be getting so much shit if they find out. Um, he's being a really big pain in the ass at the moment, to be honest, as usual. <sighs> Come this side, how many more times? Milo, I'm gonna get very angry at him in a minute. Come on. Oh, no. Oh my god, this is why I don't take him out anymore. He's such a big puppy. This side, please. Thank you. Come on. Okay. Alright, Starbucks is just there. So I need to just put him here for a minute. Okay, I gotta go. <laughs> Hello. Could I please get a eggnog latte for you? Medium takeaway? Uh, medium, yes, please. Yes, please. <laughs> Yes, it's a tree. That lady took so long to make this. Milo was outside looking for me like, where have you gone? I'm really worried. I forgot to bring a poo bag for him. So I um, I had to get like a one of those freezer bags at the back of my car. So um, hopefully he doesn't have to go, but knowing him, he usually does. So great. Also, I've parked in a permit zone. So if I get a fine, it's probably gonna be about 60 pounds. So that would be awesome. Um, today has just not gone my way. I don't know why I thought I would get a car parking space at Temple Meads, which is like one of the busiest train stations in Britain. Hey, hey, don't, hey, what are you doing? Stop it. All right, we're gonna go over the bridge now, I think. Milo, that's the road, chill. Hmm. I don't know where I'm gonna go, because I wanna get him some grass, but there's not really any grass around here, it's all built up, so. I really need to sort myself out because I like, hang on, Milo, stay, sit. Oh, God, come here. He is being such a pain. 
can't deal with himself, like, literally carry it, like, literally. I didn't bring my sunglasses either, and it's actually quite, I'm so not with it today. Alright, so, I'm really, I don't know how I'm going to do this. Alright. Okay, let's go over the bridge, come on. Okay, no, not a good idea, not a good idea. We're going this way, we're going over the bridge. Oh. Now he decides to go on that side. I do not understand this dog. Oh my god, go, 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 go! Milo, oh my god, we did it! We did it! Oh my god, you guys! Shit, I need to concentrate, I'm on a roundabout. And I'm on a box. And it's bright and I don't have my sunglasses! Fuck, I'm gonna get beeped at. Even though I shouldn't, to be fair, because I was here first. <laughs> you guys! Oh, we were so lucky! There was the guy, literally the guy in his in his little outfit, like, with a white van that couldn't find a space, and I was just like, with my dog, like, shit! Actually, to be honest, it wasn't a permit parking space, it was um, a long stay, so it was kind of obvious that I hadn't been there in a long, for long, like, Honestly, um, <laughs> I'm so chuffed. I literally just was like, all right, I'm just being discreet. I've just got my coffee and I've got my dog. And I was like, Milo, get in the car, get in the car. It's so hot, get in the car. Um, and he jumped in and I was just literally like, get in the car. And I just reversed out of that space and just went. And the guy like was looking like, what the fuck? And I was like, <laughs> leader loser. I hope they don't take your number plate. They can't do that anyway. They can't, they have to give it to you on the spot. I'm pretty sure anyway. Because I could, I had a feeling, I was like, oh my God, I need to hurry up. I was like getting boxed in then. I was thinking like, oh my God, I need to hurry up. Like I have a feeling that there's, there's somebody there. So I did have a nice walk. We were out for like 15 minutes. Um, and oh yeah, I'm so happy now didn't even realise, hopefully, well I think he did in the end, he was like, ah oh, shit, this girl, young girl with a dog and a coffee, getting in a car, reversing out pretty quick, probably has done something wrong. The space was so tight as well, it was so hard to get into, and get out as well, like reversing my ass off. Oh, happy days. We got away with it, Milo! We got away with it! Well, I'm sorry, but they need more parking spaces because like I know it's like high demand but that's such a tiny car park instead they decided to build offices around there they should just have one huge car park because there was no spaces in the short stay so I had to go to the long stay Milo's lunch. I don't even really know what I'm making for lunch. I just sort of picked up whatever I fancied. So I got some stuff, but I got Milo a special treat. <gasps> Look, Jumbone! You like Jumbone? So now can we go home and please chill out? Because that's all I want to do. Please. Oh, I'm so happy to be home. So I was really, um, that was fine. That was good. I'm kind of so excited that I got my egg dog latte. I got the medium this time instead of the small, but I'm kind of regretting it because it's a really, really nice drink, but it's very strong. I put this in the fridge. Um, so it's quite, um, you can, like, a little bit's enough, you know what I mean? So I got us some lunch. So I don't really know what I want. I'm not like overly hungry, but I could eat. So that's when I need to get something to eat. Otherwise I will snack. Um, so I got Milo. A jumbo, so I thought we could have a nice little treat today. And then I got myself some kale. I love the kale, I haven't had it in so long. And I fancied some mushrooms, so I think I'm gonna just fry out some kale and mushrooms. Maybe with a with an egg and some garlic, maybe. Um, 
and maybe some sweet chilli on top as well and I just think that that would be really tasty and I can make loads of it if I'm hungry. Um, I might just make a lot of it and put it in the fridge. Um, so yeah, I'm going to make my lunch but I'm desperate for a wee and I think this one wants to go in the garden so <sighs> today has just been like, because <laughs> what time is it now? It's already 2.30. Where does the day go? I don't know, do I want to do all of them? I'm going to cook all the kale because I'm thinking I should just keep it in a Tupperware dish and take it for my lunch at work. I'm just going to do all of them. I put two cloves of garlic in the pan with a bit of olive oil as well. Oh, I love mushrooms. I love cutting them as well. Their texture is like, I don't even know. It's like rubbery. I don't know. That kind of, I like, really appeals to me. I like rubbery foods. How gross is that? It's like I love like calamari. Um, like rubbery foods are just so good. <sighs> so... It's quite nice to chill out, actually. Oh, you cannot eat it, Milo. I wonder if you can eat mushrooms raw. I would actually try it. But it's like, do you guys, I kind of feel weird. But, like, <clears throat> I love the look. Like, I, I'm obsessed with chicken. I love chicken. But I love the look of raw chicken. And, my God, if I could eat it, I would. It just looks so, like, like sloshy and lush. Like, I would actually eat. I think, like, if you have a chicken breast and you marinate it, it looks like, it's more amazing before you cooked it than after. Um, or at least mine do anyway. <laughs> so I just kind of wish, okay, this is a lot of, a lot of fungus. It's kind of, yeah, it's so weird a concept as well to think mushrooms are fungus. Like, it's so cool though. I would just love to go out like and pick a mushroom and eat it. I think I've watched like River Cottage and stuff, like you can do it, but obviously like don't do it unless you're an expert because a lot of them are kind of like deadly. And a lot of them are like funny as well. Oh my god. Yeah, Amsterdam, my god. We went to like a smart shop with my friend and like we seen they literally have so many different types of mushrooms in Amsterdam. It was so interesting. Never did it though. <laughs> I would I think I don't know, it's kind of scary. I don't know if I'd ever do that. Because like it's legal over there, so it's not like, oh my god, I do shrooms. Like, no way. I'm just kinda like that's kind of interesting. Um, okay. All right, we've got the mushrooms and we've got the kale and I've got the garlic in the pan with the oil and now it's time to just chuck it all together. So I've just done, oh, sorry, pup, did I wake you up? He was sleeping. I've just done all my tags, well, most of them, but I've done them. They look so cool. I love them. Beautiful. So I've done those now. I think they should have come with, it came with 10 pages of stickers with one letter on each page but I kind of wish it just came with like a pages of A's and E's and all the vowels because I can't do any more because I haven't got enough A's left oh I'm nice and chill I was thought I was going to watch a Christmas movie but I'm watching Penn and Teller now but I'm happy because I like this I'm a sleepy puppy already I like that one it's so cute Ten points if you still know what this is. I mean, come on, everyone knows what this is. If you're from the UK, oh my God, the comedy gold. It is only fools on horses. Um, okay, so I am really excited because I actually found out that on Netflix, Gavin and Stacey's back on there. I swear it, it actually, 100% it went for a while because I actually searched for it and it was like search titles relating to Gavin and Stacey. So I'm in the dark, I just need to get the... Uh, tape dispenser um so i'm so excited so i'm gonna watch the because that's one of my favorites as well as i love the classic uk tv shows so the i'm watching the christmas special for this one and then i'm gonna watch the christmas special for gavin and stacy but first of all i'm gonna put on my labels that i made how Christmas is this? Oh yeah, I'm in my Christmas onesie again. You guys asked me in my vlog, because I wear these in my vlog quite a lot, but you asked me where I got this from. Oh my god, I can't believe it's so unflattering. Um, honestly, 
I'm pretty sure it's from New Look, but obviously it was like years ago, so it's probably still not gonna be there. But I haven't found anything like this recently. I got it as a present from my mum, and I really love it, and I wish I could find one like it. All right, so let's do the tags. So this big one here. This is literally, I think, my the first one I wrapped on my favorite with the sprouts and the red. So this one was for my gramp. So I made my little tags, which I could not be happier with. So um, how am I gonna do this? I think this one, I'm just gonna wrap around the um, thing. Oh, it makes me feel so festive, just like that. Look at this. Yay. Oh, I hope this guy, I hope this is like a nice festive vlog for you all because, oh, some of these I haven't wrapped yet. Oh yeah, I haven't, I haven't even bought Hien's present yet or Lubka's. Kerry's and Sean's are upstairs. Jack, Riley, I haven't. Henry, I haven't yet. I'm buying that tomorrow. Callum's, I've got. Nan's, I've got. Dad. And mum. Okay, cool. So these are the ones that need to wait. So I don't know where I'm going to put those, I suppose, there. Okay, that's mum's too. But what do I want to put the tags on? I bought people more than one present, you see. So, oh my god, I put this all nicely under the tree and now I decide to do it. I thought that was being unwrapped then. That's George's. Okay, George's, I'm going to have to stick down. Oh, why don't I put it under the bow? Oh, I can. I can put it under the bow. Alright. Eh. Where it all comes from is a mystery. It's like the changing of the seasons. How cute is that? I love I'm having the best Christmas present wrapping. That's like my thing. Like, I win that. I win it. And that's Jack's main present. I think I'm going to just have to put it on the main present, aren't I? Eek. Okay, this one's stuck down real good. I have to put it on the main present because I could go get another bunch of these tags though. I get a bit obsessed with wrapping, it's like my thing, like I said. <laughs> I kind of wish they had a gold pack though because that's like, I don't like silver and gold together. Oh, a bit close for comfort there, aren't we? Um, oh, whose is that? Oh, that's for my dad. Okay, that's the main present. All right. Oh, where's the bow gone? Okay, the bow is missing in action, so I'm just gonna have to find <laughs> find another bow. Okay. I put the bow in the corner, but for now it looks like that. All right. Um. So I've got Nan and Mum left. Nan, Nan, Nan. Do you know what? I just wrapped the presents today and I still can't remember what I got for people. Um, and Mum. I'm going to wait because I've got, I'm get, picking up her other present tomorrow. And then Nan. Oh, Nan's I haven't wrapped yet either. Wow. Okay, cool. There we go. That's going to have to wait. So I'm going to watch Only Fools and Horses now. And I'm an excited bunny. I'm gonna chill out. Okay. All right. Okay, then I'm gonna watch this. So I finished watching um, the La Fools and Horses, and then I watched the Benadorm Christmas special, which actually is is really good as well. It's really sad though. I actually had a little tear. I don't, if you guys have seen Benadorm. I had a tear on Benadorm. Yeah, I know. Um, but I've just been chilling. My parents have got a home now, but they're still busy. I did a little bit of work in between. I had to send off um, send off something to my boss, um, which hopefully has gone through. Should have done. Um, bought Christmas present again, and made myself another cup of tea over there. And now I'm chilling. I've moved by the Christmas tree, so I'm here. I love the Christmas tree. And I'm getting sick. Like, my throat is getting more and more dry by, like, the minute. And I feel like that's why I keep drinking the tea. Because <coughs> it's really dry, and I'm going to be coughing now, and it's going to be really annoying. 
Um, but what I have planned now for the evening is really chilling. Probably, uh, what's happening this weekend? I'm trying to, I said I was going to keep it free, but I'll probably do something. Maybe. I, I don't know if I want to or not. Um, I want to do something chill. I don't really want to go out or anything. I don't know how like, interesting this vlog has been. We haven't really been anywhere exciting. It's just been like um, a chill one. I feel like the past few ones we've been out and about constantly. So hopefully this is something nice and different and festive. Um, yeah. And I think that's about it. I'm going to watch the Gavin and Stacey 12 Days of Christmas now, which is on Netflix as well. I, I think I've seen this, but I don't know. And it's basically all the behind the scenes of them making the um, Christmas special, which is one of my favourite Christmas specials. And I think one of my favourite things to watch at Christmas. So I'm going to watch this, then watch the Christmas special. And see what happens. But I'm quite tired and I've got an early start tomorrow, so... This is what I just plan to do, is just chill here for a bit. I feel like I haven't really been on my own at all for the last sort of three months. Like, I don't like being on my own. So, but I, I do, I mean, I do like being on my own. So now it's just, now it's just me getting back to being on my own, which I do enjoy, but it's just going to... Gonna take some time. Oh, I haven't made any plans for New Year either, so I think I'm gonna have my friends around here. Ooh. But some of my friends are like haven't got plans, and some of them are like last minute, don't know if they're doing stuff, and some people are doing stuff. So we're gonna work it out. But probably I'll just I just want to spend it in my like with Kerry, because she's like one of my best friends. So whether I go around her house or she comes around here or whatever, then I'd love it, because we could just have a ball, so, I'm gonna go watch this now, and look amazing, as I usually do, and I'll see you all later, so, I'm just, do you know what, something that I, like, I don't know if I, pri I don't pride myself on this, because it's just weird, but I could totally be, actually, no, I kind of do, I could totally be, private investigator I am so good at tracking people down all I need to know is their first name and like either their job or their location or their type of work and I can find people like it's so weird I kind of love it though I kind of love like and I want to learn how to hack like that's really bad like, you do not broadcast that on the internet Amy but I kind of do I kind of want to learn how to hack and use it for good like, not major hacking, like, to get arrested by, but like emails, Facebooks, Twitter, social medias, you know? I feel like that would be a really good skill to have, if ever needed, and for whatever reason. Um, I definitely am getting sick, because I can really see it, feel it on my throat. Oh my god, I like the fucking exorcist. Um... Oh, which by the way, my friend got a tie, I have to see my friend, but she got that tattooed, she actually got the, you know the scary exorcist face, insert here, no I'm lying, don't worry, I'm not going to scare you guys, <laughs> did I get you, probably not, um, you know that sort of really fucking scary face that always comes up on um, jump scares, she literally had that tattooed on her, I can't remember if it's on her arm or on her thigh, oh my god, it scared the crap out of me because she like posted a picture of it on Instagram and I was like, oh my god. So Sherelle, if you're watching this, I know I haven't seen you in a long time, but I know you like YouTube. I don't know if you watch my videos, but oh my god, mental. I was like, okay, we can never have a sleepover again because <laughs> I won't be able to sleep, especially if it's on our arm. Can you imagine? Like that and the <laughs> fucking things there. Um, I think tomorrow I'm gonna go to boxer size and do some working out fitness because I got a new sports bra that I want to wear and use. Oh, I need to put my skincare on. Oh no, I don't know why. On my jawline, there. One, two, three. Like sore, really sore spots, but it's always on my jawline. I wonder what that is. I'm gonna have to Google it. Um, but I hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog. I feel like it's a bit like. Bit disjointed, a bit random, but 
you guys say you like them and you like long ones, but this, I don't know how long this was, probably too long for what I was blabbing all about. It's all to do, this is where I suffer. All around here and my chin, that's all hormonal. I literally, I know, because everywhere, nowhere else do I get spots because I clean my skin lovely, obviously Bioderma, look after it, make sure it's clean, cleanse it like a billion times, but I always get spots on my jaw. I suffer really bad around my jaw um, and I try and hold it back, but uh, it's because I have, I have an injection every like three months that's basically just pure hormones and it's kind of messy, so... I'm really blabbing now. <laughs> I'm so tired now because I've had such a long day doing so much. Now it's been actually really, really lush today. I actually felt getting into this Christmas spirit now. I feel, I feel happy now. So yeah. All right, I'm gonna see you guys in my next video, and I hope you all stay beautiful. And I'll see you all very soon. Ciao.